Dr. Marianne Wolf is the Executive Director of the State Educational Technology Directors Association, which provides national leadership in education technology, ensures members have meaningful professional development opportunities, and engages in partnerships with public and private sector to collaborate on how educational technology support teaching and learning. Dr. Wolf has, has led the national leadership summits in which uh, her members and partners develop tools for education community. She directs the, the Technology Assistance Partnership Program with nine, fed, with nine federal evaluation grantees and oversees the National Trends Report focused on NCLB Title II Part D Enhancing Education Through Technology Programs. And thank you for doing that. Thank you, Chairman Miller, Representative McKeon, and the committee for inviting me to testify today. I would like to also especially thank Representative Hinojosa and Representative Bigert for being the lead co-sponsors on the Achievement Through Technology and Innovation, or the ATTAIN Act. I am Marianne Wolf with CETA, which represents the education technology leaders in the SEAs in all 50 states. Our members agree wholeheartedly with the National Math Panel Report on the need and the potential to improve math education. I would now like to take you to a small school district in Floydata, Texas, where the median household income is $27,000 and only about 57% of the population has a high school degree. You can imagine that with these demographics, many students have very limited experience and a narrow vision for their education. This school district made strategic decisions to change learning for kids forever by providing access to technology tools and resources through relevant instruction being taught by teachers who had ongoing and sustainable professional development. And I will tell you, it transformed Floyd Data. Imagine the student who never understood why algebra mattered and introduce a lesson that asks him to figure out how much the rise in gas prices affected his family. Technology, including collaboration on the interactive whiteboards, graphing and modeling formulas through Excel to learn algorithms, and visually mapping out the problem contributes to a deeper learning in these math skills and connects to 21st century learning. Suddenly, Algebra I, often cited as the gateway to graduation, is relevant. Tenth grade math scores in Floyd Data on the state exam went up by 36 percent, and sixth grade math scores went up by 29 percent. This took a comprehensive approach that affected all stakeholders but it is possible, and it was part of a bigger state initiative called the Technology Immersion Pilot, which focuses on using technology for systemic reform. This is critical as we consider what we can do to address the teaching and learning of math. The students in kindergarten this year will graduate in 2020. At some point, all kids come to us wanting to learn, even math, and we just lose them sometime along the way. I think this is our responsibility and our opportunity. CETA worked with the Partnership for 21st Century Skills, ISTE, and many stakeholders to address what America needs to be competitive. In the Maximizing the Impact book, The Pivotal Role of Technology in a 21st Century Education, we concluded that in a digital world, no organization can achieve results without incorporating technology into every aspect of its everyday practices. It's time for schools to maximize that impact of technology as well. And this is especially true for mathematics. In Vallejo, California, the sixth and seventh grade math teachers received ongoing sustainable professional development to integrate technology into the classroom. Teachers learned and used new models for teaching the content in a more effective way. Vallejo focused on the lowest performing students. In one lesson, students were involved in a game show class quiz format for content review but teachers received immediate feedback to individualize instruction to reach those students previously unsuccessful. The district has seen large gains on state math test scores, and approximately 40% of those students moved up an entire performance band in the first year. Similar to the Texas TIP program in Floydata, Utah, Missouri, and Maine have implemented the EMINS program, which provides classrooms and schools with technology tools, curriculum, and over 200 hours of professional development. These students are able to reach the NCLB goals and 21st century skills. In Utah, where EMINS and control classrooms existed in the same school, EMINS students repeatedly achieved over 10% higher on state exams. In Missouri, after six years of looking at fourth grade math data, <coughs> EMINS students in special education, low income, and Title I subgroups have reduced the achievement gap in test scores between the performance and their peers by one half 
the achievement gap is closing. As has been mentioned very effectively, professional development provides trem there's a, a, tremendous opportunities with technology to make professional development ongoing and systemic. Programs like Access in Alabama, Ideal in Arizona, and eLearning Delaware lead to changes in teaching and learning, and Virginia has also implemented instructional technology coaches. Technolo technology is also very important for formative assessment. The Philadelphia Public Schools implemented an instructional management system to frequently assess individual student achievement, which has contributed to the increase in AYP schools from 58 to 132 schools over two years, and math achievement went up by 14%. Again, knowing what kids know and what they need to know makes a big difference. The good news is, is that we have many strong examples in written testimony. The bad news is that a Department of Commerce study determined that out of 55 industry, education was dead last in the use of technology. Now's the time to maximize technology for all kids. We appreciate the committee's support through the EETT program of NCLB and the ATTAIN Act and the draft reauthorization of ESEA. The ATTAIN Act builds upon the data that shares today and focuses on systemic and strategic approaches to technology. ATTAIN will serve as a catalyst for more students to have a 21st century education system. And to conclude, federal leadership must be bold to help transform how we teach, learn, and apply math for our competitiveness and innovation. This is possible even for high-need kids like employee data, but it will take a concerted effort by you, by the states, by district, and by all stakeholders and educators. We ask that you specifically recognize the important role of technology in all education legislation. We can't afford to miss this opportunity that technology provides to engage students, to improve instruction and teacher quality, and to ultimately raise student achievement in math so that our students are prepared for the 21st century. Thank you.